nuts, sir, to be honest. Even more nutty. More nuts to be had. In this grand final, Evil versus Ash. Here we are. We're off the bat with Evil, who gets to start with the plasma and the red armor. And there goes Ash. So Ash with a weapon advantage, but he's without the rockets, I think. And so Evil, he's going to have a bit of a challenge in the beginnings as Ash gets a victory on the stacks as well at the moment. So things are going to be slow here for Evil, I think. I wonder if Ash is going to go for that lower yellow and then just head straight over to red. Actually, he, he ignores the lower yellow. He wants to get onto the red armor as fast as possible. So Evil won't get this red armor. Oh, looking for the air rock. It's not going to hit it. Ash, he wants to commit to this one. His health is draining on lovely flick rail from him. Saw that from his point of view. It was a work of art. And uh, oh wow, this gets a direct rocket as soon as he picks up that mega health. So he might have the lead, but he's in a very unstable position at the moment. And here we go, Ash. As you say, fragile, unstable. He is kind of trapped as well. He doesn't even have positioning right now. It's just an effort to get out of this little nook of the map over at the Plasma Yellow. He does even grenade himself into Evil. Evil's going to just get the kill easy mode. That is bad news. He just Very expected bad. Ash to double back in the same place. So he waited for him and he barely had to do anything. He just stood still and was patient. So now Evil's going to get on Mega. He is fully loaded right now. Let's see if he can get back to red on time. Oh, Ash tries to go for the jump, but the LG's going to block him from there. And the lead has now been changed. Certainly, Evil going to just stay very quiet at the moment, expecting a drop onto this yellow. But Ash does not go for it. There he, there he is, though. And oh, God, what, what even happened there? So how did Ash get caught out like that? Why do you yeah, think he, he just there? He, he turned around, he had the rail out, and you know what, you can't even get away from, from it. Evil knew there was an easy crack that he had, and I picked it up. He might even get another one if he can hit the rail at the end. He doesn't even go for the switch, actually, allowing Ash to survive a little longer. And actually, Ash had to jump to the side. I'm not sure if he picked up rockets. No, Ash has got grenades, shotgun, and a couple of balls of plasma. Uh, evil in complete majority of control right now. Uh, Ash is going to have to do something pretty spectacular, and by that I mean he's going to have to play defensively, and he's going to have to remain invisible for God knows how long. There goes Evil straight in, dodging those grenades, jumping straight over them, trying to get the flick rail, misses, but it's the pressure that counts. It doesn't even matter that he took a little bit of damage there, because he'll be able to stack up on this mega, and no pressure from Ash, and he gets the yellow as well, so the damage was kind of worth it to Ooh. get the opportunity for the shots and really keeping Ash on his toes. And you can see Evil's just got position on the red. I mean, he's playing very, very solidly. It's what is expected of a Blood Run, a player on Blood Run in control. And Ash yeah. is not anywhere nearby, really. He's, he's doing well at the moment to, to just stay hidden. Actually, just, let's just switch onto Ash because he has 75 armor now. He was stood there on the little ledge for about 10 to 20 seconds. And he, wow, goes through the teleporter. He made a decent escape, but sidestepped into 100 uh, damage away from him. All right, he's going to hear the Mega getting taken. It's fine. He didn't do any damage. He gained all the information he needed. It might uh, serve to tell him when to attack next, at least more precisely. Uh, Red's been taken. He's got a lot less information about that. And Evil's going to know that his game's based more around the Mega Health at the moment. So he kind of knows where to watch out for him. I love Ash's position from a playing perspective because in, when, you're, when you're doing this, what Ash is doing, he's trying to basically just survive, stay, like avoid damage, and basically make reads on how Evil would want to pressure him. And Ash oh, wow, gave away a, a red. And see, that's what happened. Ash went out at the right time, saw that the, the red armor was up, and Evil thought, right, got to go to Mega because he has perfect timing on it. Uh, Evil just got a, a little bit punked right there. Yeah, no kidding. And oh, he, Ash reads that well, but he pops out just the wrong moment. And oh, even another direct receive. <laughs> He's not having a good time in the directs, but he does stand his ground and get some good damage out there. But 200 damage to receive so far, they're really really didn't have to be taken, and he does still manage to get onto the red armor. So Evil not gives away red. I can't. Put, I'm not expecting that. The grenades are coming out as well. Evil might die before oh Mega's picked up. Oh my god! And that was disastrous for Evil. I, I can't believe he made such an error. It doesn't even make sense considering how much damage Ash took that he shouldn't have taken. Like it, Evil was in such a good spot, and now Ash has position. He abuses it, misses the follow-up to get the frag, but Evil's very low. 
at Ashra's thinking, shall I commit, shall I commit? He decided against it, and he's going to meet up evil by the 50 health bubble spawn, and we've got a tied game on our hands as we reach that halfway point. And I, I guess, I don't know if I was expecting this at all, but Ash has made some phenomenal plays when Evil had what looked like control that was impossible to get rid of. Yeah, it's quite surprising. But both players are very surprising players, and let's see if Evil has any left in store for us still. On Blood Run, it's very early days. Four, minutes uh, four and a half minutes left. And Ash is just running the items now, and now it's his turn. I mean, before I was talking about how Evil was just playing ABC, and now it's up to Ash to do the same thing. And he needs to try to keep the War of Attrition alive in his, his whole strategy, his approach. That, that Mega, that Mega once again is going to be the, the root of his control. See, Evil does get onto that red armor. Ash has got to be careful. If he switches to that railgun, he could be in a bit of trouble. And, well, I don't think he was just going to vanish because of the grenades. But at least he didn't give Evil have a chance to rush him with a lightning gun. I like that I mean, he did get damage on, even though... Even just though... Just a little bit. Just a tiny a smidgen. Yeah, even though he, he did give away the red, he did get some damage on there, so... That's really nice, and he does win the next one, but he drops oh, onto Evil's LG. Couldn't be worse for him right there. I can't there. believe it. Again, we see things decided as Mega is about to be... Oh, here on the sideline, if Ash gets a good rocket, he can maybe get a good bounce going, but he doesn't at all. And Evil's going to bring it back to a two-frag difference. And Ash, you can see him looking over towards the shard area. He was expecting Evil to come out of there. Evil made it around to uh, the Mega area and below red much quicker than he anticipated. That was to Ash's falling. And Evil is just trying to make the push onto the Mega, where Ash was spotted, but it was just a position of, oh my god, oh my god, I'm getting out of here, kind of Ash, instead of any kind of a challenge, because Evil's really running the map at the moment. And Ash, his best way in would be some kind of close range ambush with a rocket, maybe a play onto the Mega. He should have the item time, so that is very possible. And Evil isn't being incredibly diligent, as we've seen in the past, on some of the items we saw him previously giving away a red. Uncharacteristic, unless there's a trap, or, you know, it's part of a plan, but it wasn't previously. It's just a misread from Evil. Will that happen again? Ash again has been very passive. He was waiting for a long time. He could have actually gone in for a Mega Steal because Evil was late to Mega. Uh, oh, he's going to be pushed away now. Nice little dodge from Ash. If he went straight through the corridor, he would have gotten hit by a rail. Uh, this, this certainly isn't over right now, but the pressure is uh, all on the deliberate murder player. There's just two minutes left and two frags now for Ash to gain. He still has time to take this slow, but Evil is creeping over at the grenade deck. He does find Ash, and he just electrocutes him there. There's no escape. Ash now three behind. This is very, very desperate. I mean, what does he do from this position? He's got to get crazy. Yeah, and that's it. He tried to get crazy on that red armor, but the, where's the damage when you've only got shotgun to fight with that mid-range? And this is it, another conversion from Evil. And it looks like map it. one is going to be settled right here. Uh, Ash might play it to that 10-minute marker, but I, th there's no coming back from this point. You know, he played an awesome game, and if it wasn't for that drop down as he going to Mega, maybe things could have been very different. GG here. And 9 to 3. One. The, the score there. And as you say, that was very, very uncharacteristic of him to just kind of just jump straight in there, right onto the LG. I mean, I mean, that's the kind of, I mean, Quake is not a forgiving game. Yeah, he put makes his one mistake. He put all hope and expectations and all his reads into the fact that evil was going to be at the shards. And uh, really, you could see it literally the moment his foot left the platform, he could hear Eat evil coming in and he could, he, ex he, he knew what to expect. He was, he was, he had no way yeah. to avoid that situation anymore. And it cost him everything, like you said. That is, mm -hmm. that is Quake right there. It, it's so unforgiving in some spots. You, you just cannot, or it's very hard to come back from, especially on Blood Run. But here we go. Map number two, Lost Three, World between two, Evil and Ash one. in this best of five grand final Three, for the winter season, the first cup of 2014. <laughs> Oh, good and little rockets from Evil already at the beginning, shaving off uh, the majority of the armor Ash got from that red. And Evil's um, got two of the big weapons already. Ash has no rocket, no LG, and he might have uh, a frag deficit right in the right in the moment. 
There we go. Evil moving under the rockets. And we got first blood extremely fast here on Lost World. Evil's Just to re remind people, Blood Run was Evil's map pick. Yeah. So uh, this is going uh, to Ash's territory now. And he's really setting the pace. And there he catches Ash. Look at OG there. Mega's coming up. Evil has such a strong position at the moment. Look at the damage he's dealing. Very efficient here, this position. Ash gets caught going across, and now look at him. He's kind of trapped. There's only two ways to get out of this position Ash is in. And Evil, he makes the right prediction. Actually, a bit too slow. Ash does steal away the red, but can he get out of there without taking damage? Evil's got good position to really punish here, and he's going to just jump on over. Kind of give Ash a free escape, actually. That was and nice for Ash. Uh, he's going to be very happy with what just happened. He's got a significant amount of armor, and it's going to be the, make the next 60 seconds a lot more painless for him. Evil just planting his ass on the Mega. There it is, picked up as he will just take the red as well. A rocket jump could be the choice to get some position soon, but in, in fact, he will go the jump pad route. See so if you can catch out Ash picking up some shards, but there they are, just spawning. So good timing there from Evil, whether he knows it or not. But where they the could hell see is each Ash? other in a moment. Ash is below LG. There we are, we're going to see him down at the bottom. He might be thinking of dropping down to red, but they're not going to. He's going to go commit in the fight. Evil dropped on him, and with that stack advantage, he will well, increase his lead a little bit further. Uncharacteristically low LG from Evil, but there he does. He does do some kind of damage with it vertically at least. He's and always good at the awkward angles as well. To be yeah. It's, Vertical it's LG is evil, you. really, to me. Yeah. He's just very good at it. Oh, amazing rockets here from Ash. He's still got a decent amount of armor. And maybe he can get some damage. Oh, the rocket return from evil is brilliant. 55 health. Just a... Oh, wow. Actually, he got evil so low that he couldn't defend himself. I was... I did not read that. And, uh, well, fortunately for Ash, he read it. Evil took the fight perfectly as well. The way that he switched between weapons and everything, you could go back and analyze how he did that fight, and it was the most optimal way. I'm convinced of it. And Ash now going to take the fight from position. Evil backing his way onto the Mega, but he can't quite reach the Mega in time. And Ash will get the frag and the pickup and the tied game. And with the red spawning, Ash has everything going for him. What is Evil going to do in this position right now? Oh, oh wow, God. a huge amount of LG. I, I half thought that Ash was going to rocket jump up and try and finish the job off and take the lead. In fact, he goes for something almost as dangerous up the bounce pad, but Evil just does not have enough health and armor to defend himself. And look at this. Ash has suddenly reversed things in less than 60 seconds. And Ash is going to make I didn't think it would happen this quick. Yeah. Ash is 200, 200. Oh my god, man. This is yeah. this is enormous for Ash. He can't make an error. He can't drop on Evil with a, you know, when he's got the lightning gun out or anything. Fortunately, this map's going to make it harder for that to happen. Ash is going to try to just charge down Evil now. Can he find this fight? Or will Evil be able to elude him? Looks like Evil's going to elude him, but some damage is received from Evil, at least, on the sake of Ash. And now with the rocket jump, he's going to apply pressure again. Evil actually committed to the fight. Nowhere to go. Ash does take him down again. 4 to 2 the score. Four minutes into this Lost World match. And as you so rightly pointed out, you know, Ash is choice. And it's showing so far. Oh, that's aggressive. <laughs> Save. That was close, man. I was thinking that could have been a, a bit of an uh, overextension. But Ash had it calculated. I don't think Evil was expecting him to do that. To me, that's like a really bad idea unless you know you're going to hit a direct rocket. As yeah, if yeah. he didn't hit that direct rocket, then, you know, I would have been prepared for facial keyboard spa uh, slamming. Yeah, pretty much. But that, nice rocket there. that could, that could, that could induce things. it also. That was really nice. And Ash now even blowing himself up. And Evil, this could be the moment, the pivotal moment in which he turns things around after that key damage. But it's going to be hard out from here. He's got to keep the pressure on in he needs to keep evil mega. There. He needs to keep evil there for another second or so. There we go. He's, he's got himself the mega health. Can make it way up the top Good exit. Hello, oh, evil. He goes for a rocket jump up. Let's see if Ash can make it over to LG. Oh, no, evil is way too quick. And there's a direct rocket from the corner. He comes back for more. And now Evil's going to have a chance as we reach the halfway mark to bring it back to a tied game. And this should be it. One frag of difference right here. Good if prediction. Evil's going to hit the LG. Again, has Ash either, is it either Ash figuring out Evil and his LG, or is Evil just having a bad LG day? Could it be I, true? I Could it, is it possible? Possibly. 
Because Ash's dodge certainly is very good right now. Well, at least he dodges the algae a lot better than he dodges the rockets. And Ash has got to run now. We could see a tied game. I can't believe it. Ash throws away three frags just in the blink of an eye, it seems. They just keep outdoing each other in terms of who's making the stronger comeback. And Evil once again is in a really strong position. I don't think Evil's going to let the same tricks happen again for Ash. So Ash is in a very, very troubling spot. I don't think he's going to get lucky again. Here goes Evil. You have taken the lead. And that was that damage actually from Ash was really, really good. And this could be a bit of a risk for Evil. He's going to go for a jump up. Oh, the nice. direct rocket. And it's exactly what Ash basically did to him earlier. Evil wants to show he can do it better. Now that was impressive from Evil. And he's two frags up now. And I don't know if Ash can do this because Evil's got a really tight grip of the items now. And he's stepping up the gears. Oh, there we go. Ash committing to this one is not going to be good. But, you know, in these LG fights, Ash is hitting quite a lot more, I dare say. Which is actually quite nuts because Evil's actually starting to connect a lot more than he has been so far. Yeah. But his, his damage is being ridic um, ridiculous. Uh, uh, Ashes, that is. But he needs more than just good damage. He needs to acquire the frags. This is what's most important at the moment. He can't afford to give away anymore. He's on the play for the Mega, but it's not coming just yet. But Ash doesn't know that. Could have gone for a, a very aggressive push there, but without that knowledge, it's just, it's just too risky. And Evil will regain positioning on center map. And that free frag lead to protect. He's in a bit of a fragile position, but this yellow makes all the difference now as he makes his way back into some spots where he can pressure and then back into position to take the big items. Red, then Mega. First item now, red. Ash, nowhere to be seen. No spam from above. What is Ash, Ash might look for information on when red uh, Mega gets picked up because Ash has just been hovering around the LG room for ages, and he doesn't even go to look when uh, uh, that Mega health's taken. He's trying to peek out at the moment, but Ash is literally terrified. He's he's quivering in his boots. He might he might go for this next red. Yeah, he's dropped down, and Evil's heard him. So Ash is going to vacate the area. Uh, that's really close. Ash knew that if he stuck around there for too long, he'd get killed. But Evil, he finds one way to chase him and secures it. This this is bad. I, I'm not sure if Ash can come back from this anymore. Yep, here we go. We have, of course, a very tough position right now for Ash. And he's going to get a what? kill on Evil somehow, the plasma gun. <laughs> That's what it is. The rogue element it is sometimes amazing. And Ash just gets the hell out of there. A rocket following him out, but not connecting. And Ash, trick jumping there. Ash has a chance now, but it has to be... So, he's got to be so aggressive, and it's going to be ridiculous. He's got to win the next fight um, somehow, because right now he's, he's behind a little bit. Evil's going to have the lightning gun, and uh, this is in nightmare mode. Yeah, Evil right behind him. He might try and get a little bit of damage on him here. On the exit, gets a fantastic rock at this speed. We've got mega health coming up. And Ash now can no longer afford to think about the items. He's got to think about exactly where Evil is and how to hunt him down. But he keeps on picking up yellows, reds, mega, blah, blah, blah. He needs to hit Evil. There we are. He's got to just follow through. Doesn't matter if he's hitting, uh, getting hit by rockets in the face. He's got no time to take any other routes. And already being slow playing it like this is just, it's just too much. <laughs> Love it, they're trying to like fake, fake each other out there. And Ash can't quite catch Evil. Now Evil's got his back to the wall, but there's the problem that Ash has lost his stack. And Evil smiles, he knows he's killed enough time. And Evil Ash doesn't even need to go through the hurt. teleporter. Yeah, Evil's just staying uh, on the tele exit. And he's like, oh, whatever, you can't kill me unless I go through. And even though he does, he might win this fight anyway. Oh, he does, and Ash takes it. But look at that, the clock, sub 15 seconds. Evil is going to be putting himself on match point uh, as we go over to Furious Heights. Pretty insane. I mean, today we had two zeros all the way through. Are we going to have a 3-0 final? I don't know, but that's 10-7, to seven, the final score. Map number two played there. Evil now 2-0 to zero up once again, Ash. His tournament life is now on the line. No more mistakes for Ash or he's done. And... I don't know. What do you think his chances are now, Zoo, after seeing these matches? I mean, he is out aiming 
uh, evil mostly, which is quite quite ridiculous. I, I don't know. I think Furious Heights going to be tough. Again, I'd give him chances, just like he's had chances in the, the first two maps. But it's, you know, his first five minutes, maybe seven minutes of the game is really good. He, he doesn't make too many mistakes. He manages to acquire control and uh, take back whatever lead Evil may have got. But uh, then he slips up towards the end and Evil starts snowballing miles into the lead. Let's have a look. Here we go. Map number three, Furious Heights between Ash and Evil for this grand final. Best of five. And here we go, Evil. Gets the LG off the start and the Mega. So it's a, a very nice start. And Ash, of course, doesn't have that LG. Evil spots him. Just goes, go, it just goes in. Yeah, it's like you don't have LG. You don't have a, a rocket. So I'm going to pick a fight with you. He misses the next rail. Evil gets the kill. If Ash's crosshair was just a couple of pixels further south, that would have been Ash's first blood. The amazing thing for me right. is that he's nice done from Ash. Ash has plasma, it's dangerous, but Evil doesn't care, he just goes in! <laughs> 28 oh, health! He should care now, because now he's dead. And uh, that, that was close. Ash running out of ammunition, and the machine gun was uh, fortunate enough to do the job in the end. Evil, I don't know, is he just angry? Is he feeling... the anger? I mean, I guess, it, you know, he's... He's uh, he is evil, so it's it's his right to just run at people with LG. That's what he does. But still, it seemed quite quite aggressive. And Ash there does receive a nasty rail, but with Mega coming up, he should be good for a challenge there. He's got all the ammunition, all the weapons, and here he goes, catches evil there, but cannot catch a, a shot. And that's evil now, massively ahead, hitting two rails back to back. Ash is now in a lot of trouble. Evil stalks him from above. Again, he's hitting these really annoying rails. One more. He doesn't even go for another. He just goes for the LG. And he could have made this. He did make the switch, but he missed it. Now Ash is going to go surely for the rockets. He wants to beat him with the LG. I can't even tell what weapon he wants. Either way, Evil is going to get himself back into the lead now. Oh, he didn't even give Ash enough time to have a second shot. 3 to 1. But th this is actually the stage where I expect Ash to do well and to come back in this game. This is what we've seen in the last two maps, and you know, I don't expect the trend to be uh, changing. Ash needs to pick a, a mad fight. Because I'm sure he's going to win it, providing it's before the six minute mark. And here we go, we do have an engagement, and it's going to be Evil that easily that takes one. it. And that's <laughs> not good at all, no. Right, so Ash. I don't know, he needs to slow things down. I don't know what he's... I guess he's just trying to get out of there, surely. Or maybe not. I don't know, he should get out of there. He can't really fight mid-range with rockets against LG and Rails. But I guess he's trying to buy some time for the red armor, but it's, it's going to take way yellow. too long. Uh, I mean, that is a complete mystery to me why he went for the yellow armor. He just had to get the hell out of there. Now the frags are coming quick and easy. Uh, for evil. Evil right. is going to land another rail in defense of the choke point. Only got one slug left, but I think that's enough at the moment. Although he does miss it. Oh. And it doesn't matter though, because he drops in for the finish. And three minutes in, it's a five frag lead. And Ash, is he falling apart at the moment? He tries to take this fight he with the plasma. Be. Just no. Nothing's working. Not, not anything, man. Oh. <laughs> nice. That, that doesn't happen so often. And he propelled him into the teleport with his own rocket. <laughs> yeah, that that's was, that was excellent. gorgeous. That was beautiful stuff there. <laughs> My God. I don't know if you were thinking of doing that five seconds before it happened, but the, the results were excellent. And it's nine to one. I, I was saying that about this trend, Ash can make it back, you know, before the halfway mark and such. It doesn't seem to look like it, unless now he makes a comeback of all comebacks. Impressive. I mean, I've seen I've seen this done before a few times, but Evil, you know, now that he's got the, the confidence, he's got the momentum, he's back onto a map that he's picked. Ash didn't win his, and is forced to play two of Evil's picks. This is a, a very rough situation. Yeah, really dominant. Really dominant. Games today, yeah, we, we've had a few close ones here and there, but uh, certainly uh, the overwhelming feeling is the <laughs> one-sided. 
You know what? Evil no longer in um, Deliberate Murder. Is Ash going to be the man to step it up uh, and be the king of 102? Right, right, that is true. But what about Cooler? Is Cooler officially 102 still ish not? Ah, uh, that's a good question. He's kind of like a. a, a Honorary. Stray cat, a stray cat in, in, in some kind of sense. I think he's I like an honorary he's member for. or something. But. Uh, yeah, he is. I mean, he plays TDM with them, so he's, yeah. he is a uh, deliberate murder. But I, I'm wondering where he's at at the moment. Is he going to make his appearance, uh, appearance in 2014? We'll I, expect, I expect him to be playing. Yeah, yeah, he, I'm, I'm certain he will. Kudo is not going to disappear at this point. He's done a disappearing act, and now he's kind of playing for fun. It's unlikely he'll display entirely, but there you go, evil there. I mean, there's just not much Ash can do. I mean, he's looking at 13 Thrags. There it is, 12 now. But 12 uh, health points left. Tries to make a drop onto Evil, but falls back oh, into the Mega. So, I mean, in this time, of course it's possible. But it's the thing is, is that he's just got to go crazy dominant. He's and got to expect Evil to throw himself at him as well a little bit. Yeah, to an extent, definitely. And to get some Spawn Frags in the mix. and. I mean, Evil's aim is so good. He'll just run you. Like, he'll wear you down. He'll just wear yeah. your snack down until you will. You will die after maybe like three frags or so, or maybe Whoa, even less. Whoa, that pre fire. <laughs> that's why. You, that's why you pre fire shots sometimes because uh, uh, sooner or later you will hit them. And Ash now he's mad. He wants to chase, but Evil having the better angles. And well, surviving with four health definitely going to be helping a little bit. Oh, he's trying to go for a switch to the Relic, I'm not working for him. But you know what, Evil's been doing such a, an amazing amount of work on Furious Heights already. I'm going to be surprised if it goes as close as uh, to a 5 track difference. Yeah, definitely. Ash, it's a nice action. It does manage to make it a 10 frag difference now. So, frags are coming his way. And he's getting every item too, so... Not looking so great for Evil in the respect of where the game is at right now, but the overall scheme of things, he's got a 10 frag or no 9 plasma. frag lead, so... Let's, let's, Ash needs a bit of LG. Let's hope Evil isn't too kind of cocky with this. I shouldn't think yeah. that he would be. He's one of those kind of stable players who doesn't really... He's not so flashy, he just does the job that's needed to be yeah. done, so... I, I, w I wouldn't say quite as stable as a player like Rafa, who really is super serious against every single opponent that he goes against. But um, I, I'd say he definitely loves to win, so he's not going to be throwing anything away too easily. Yeah, nice uh, grenade there in, in the defensive kind of mana from Evil, but Ash will catch go. him out. And what is happening now. right now? Ash is just fragging him again and again and again. Evil's not able to avoid him. Ash is hitting nice shots too. Yeah. He, he is, but I mean, what the hell is Evil doing? Maybe he is being cocky right now. But and Ash currently not there for the major items. He's going to have to rush over to that Mega because Evil wants to steal Ash missing his rail on the side. He's going to push over to that uh, 50 health bubble. Ash does get it. Oh, missing the shot is all about Evil again. He seems to have flicked a switch and he's just turned the spell against Ash. And there he goes. Got nothing to work with. Evil straight onto it, but oh. great clutch shot from Ash. Class. That was awesome. Absolute class there. But he's pretty low and he was available now after that little bit of LG, I think. So Ash could quite well win this Mega. He can just hit the rail that he's going to need to hit. All right, it's Mega stop right now. Oh, he misses the rail shot. And I don't think Evil's run out of uh, LG ammunition. And Ash, does he want to take. Oh, no, he's going for flicks. He's, he's rushing his uh, rail shots a little bit too much. Makes the jump onto red armor though, so I mean, hope's still alive for the time being. Can he make it to at least five a difference? Yeah, it's it's definitely looking terrible, and he's gonna go for the drop here. It's all on this fight. If he can get this fight and and both pickups, mega right. and red, he can make an effort to a ridiculous comeback. If it's not already been ridiculous enough, but oh, you no, can't be missing. HP. And Evil hears that. That's information for Evil. He knows how low he is. The best play for Evil right now is just to run at him, but Evil just says, divide, divide, divide on the, in the chat, which is, I guess it's like, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, he's going to bring it on, man. Come on towards me. He knows he's got a frag him. Oh, there's a rail from Ash. He's got hardly any ammo left. Goes up the lightning gun. He even gets the kill. But th this is going to be an impossible task still. 40 seconds left. The frag every 10. 
Uh, Ash, forget about the items. Don't. <laughs> just just go. You've been taking in crazy risks already. Just shoot. You've lo lost a quarter of your time already here with this frag uh, differential. Yeah, time is really important. Oh, he cuts it deep in the back, but there is the frag. Oh, Four health remaining on evil. I mean, it had to stop at some point. It was just yeah, too it, ridiculous. It was, it was getting a bit crazy. Ludicrous moves there. Maybe Evil just wanted to give him a little bit of hope, just so he could shut it down again right at the end. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me, but it looks like it's it, DDK. And we have a champion here for the first Sunday Cup of the year. Evil's taking it 3-0. Yeah, Evil, congratulations. You've done it, good sir. 3 0, 2 0 is all the way into a 3 0 final. Very dominant performances overall today, despite some of the close matches. And. Thanks for casting with me, Zoo. Is there anything that's going on with uh, with you that you want to kind of plug quickly? Um, yeah, well, this week is, uh, the, this coming week, sorry, is probably going to be pretty quiet. Um, uh, there's probably going to be a sub event or two happening this week, but we're doing some groundwork on the channel. Week after is when we're going to kick things off with the Swedish Championships of Quake Live. Right. And, you, you know, uh, I'm Zoo, I work on Zoot Live, any social media or my Twitch channel, it's all .com or .tv slash Zoot Live. That, that's, that's, that's what I do. So thanks very much for casting. And that's an absolute pleasure. And I hope everyone on the stream enjoyed the show today. And of course, you can look forward to more Quake Live action every Sunday for our Sunday Cups with some of the best players all around Europe and also some amazing players coming out of Russia. We saw Base. I'm interested, interested to see mm -hmm. the next Base game. Oh, Phrase is around still. When's Phrase going to come he, back? He said that he may play today. So I guess I guess it turned out that he, he couldn't. I, I don't think he doesn't go back till, to Australia until February right. from what I remember. That's so correct. I, that's correct. You know, even though he might not be contending for the season finals, he'll be contending, you know, for some glory. Definitely. So it is time to close out the show. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Zoot. And I guess that's it. So good night. Ciao, ciao.